Hey guys, we are going to do the second um, class on scrolls. And this is using a lot of filberts and other brushes. Uh, but I'm going to start out with filbert. I don't know if we can see this. Um, I put a little bit of chalk. So think about an S. All right. And then you can come out from that. And we have this big spiral there. We can also come into here. And then out here, we're going to come. OK. And this is going to be a blossom. And here's a blossom. OK. That'd give us a good start. Now, if I'm using the filbert, these are the colors I want to use. I'm going to use teal and the blue, uh, blue peacock on the other side. These are all multi-surface paints. I want you to see that I'm going to push down here and lift, but I need the light color to be coming on top of here. I think I'm going to use aqua because that feels too dark. Okay. Now look, if I put aqua on one side, all right, and then I'm laying the dark down, the peacock blue, a little bit more, and I'm gonna push and lift, push and lift, and, and see how that aqua pops up, all right? Now, I'm also going to come right here. And if I do this with aqua on top, I like what happens when I grab a little bit of white and I'm going to go over that cap and stand up. So see, look how pretty that makes that. I can do the same thing here. I can go over the cap. We can actually do that to a few of these. Little teeny bit of white. All right, so that makes it really nice. All right, so, so, so far I'm using this um, blue peacock and aqua all right and so what's going to happen is i push and stand up on the chisel push and stand up on the chisel and i'm making a big long curve all right and the other thing that you can do is also all right, so we're going to stand up on the chisel, come around. So on that chisel, it can get really skinny there, which is nice. And I continue to pick up paint. I just think it's really nice how the filbert works here for us. All right, so we can come here again. And I can get going around this way. You can also be on the chisel, chisel. All right. And I can get some citrus, which is really not citrus. It's lime green. So I'm gonna wipe this off and get lime green with a little bit of white and come around again. All right, and we can do the same thing up here. Right along here. So I'm gonna push and lift. Now what's gonna happen along here, if you can see this, let's get aqua. This is on the filbert. I'm gonna chisel, put pressure. Get some more of the lime. Green. 
And I'm gonna come right out here and do it again. All right, so now what I wanna see is right in here. with the filbert again. See how bright that is? And the same thing's gonna to happen to these leaves over here. All right, so let me show you what's gonna happen in here. I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm going to work in the lime green and teal. All right, so now look what happens. I'm gonna go one, oops. I need to try to do it without medium and have enough paint. See, I'm coming up here, two, three. Let me get paint again. I need to push, push, push. All right, then we're gonna turn it this way. All right, and get more tail. And then this time with some of this green, the lime green, we're gonna make these little movement here. All right, so I'm going to get a little bit of white. There we go. All right, so with this flat brush, I can do on the chisel. All right, so you saw what the filbert did. So push, 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 push. So see how we're continuing to scroll it? All right, I showed you how to do this cap, those caps. These are longer, they're not as much as a comma. So I'm gonna come right through here. So push, 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 and lift. All right, so that the round brush will do it more like I want it to do. So what I'm gonna do now is pick up some of the blue peacock. And I'm gonna come around here, pressure and lift. And then I'm gonna go one, two. And then I'm gonna come out here. I'm gonna put it right in here, the dark blue. Okay, so we're gonna come right around in here. So it's kind of like a blossom. And we'll put some citrus in there. So let's do this one over here too, aqua and white. Then this dark blue, I'm gonna go one, two, we'll do a larger, stroke here, and then one that comes back down here. So we're gonna come right up here, and then there, and then there, with blue, dark blue right here, which is Prussian blue, guys. So this is Prussian blue. All right.
Now, what I'm going to do now is come in here with a little bit of dark blue and aqua. And I'm going to push and stand up. Let's get some dark. This is Prussian blue. Okay. Now we're going to come right here. Okay, so if we do that, I'm going to take some darker blue on the outside. Darker blue from the outside. And then some right there. Okay, I can also come in here and pull. I don't think I'm going to do that to everyone. All right, so we can come right here and right here. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. One, two, three. All right. So what, what happened here is we're going to do a little bit uh, outline on here. Isn't that kind of fun? We we can then come back in here and just do little scrolls of white, and then I can bring it a little bit this way. Let's do this bigger. There and there. Same thing happens here. You can come right in the middle. See how that has that nice color in there? And this needs something too, so let's just go back over it. You can kind of tie this in. All right, and you can also bring some white into this. All right, so we're going to oh, right here, touch and then pull around. A little bit of white in that. This is dry paper, this is art paper. So it is, so sometimes it's hard to get a really fine line. All right, let me touch this over. The good thing is, as this dries, you can move it because it's got a varnish in it. I thought I'd like that, but I don't like that. <laughs> All right. So um, when we come in here, 
going to come in here like this. And then we can come out here. All right, same thing goes here. So what you want to do is continue to practice the scrolls and putting pressure and release on each one. So if you've watched the first segment, um, it's going to really help you as you're doing this one. And if you haven't, please go try to watch it. I was hoping you'd watch it first. All right, this is going to be part two. All right. This is using lime green for dots. And what I like is sometimes just to have areas where you have random dots instead of when you're doing these other dots, you're going to go dot, 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 and they get smaller and smaller as you go. Isn't that kind of fun? And same thing here, I can take this dot off the white and this dot off the white. Or if you don't like dots, you don't have to do dots at all. It's just really nice to see you add to it, and get more detail. There you go. And this is a darker gray uh, paper, all right, art paper. Thank you so much. And please let me know how you like them and share on our Facebook group, Donna Dewberry's official Winster group and share with your practice sheets so we can see how you're learning. Thank you. I'll see you next time.